What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin Bees. I am a wife, a mom, a military veteran, a soon to be certified personal trainer, and I spent 13 and a half years in multi-level marketing. I healed my way out and now I'm using all of my social media platforms to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of multi-level marketing companies and the tactics used by their reps. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, this is where you can find me and how you can find me and we have a pretty good time over there, I feel like. <laughs> Anyways, oh, today's video is a doozy. I'm already not a fan of health and wellness companies. I'm not a fan of Amari by any means. I am not a fan of them calling a couple of their products happy juice. I'm not a fan of them calling themselves the mental wellness company. Amongst many other things, the health claims that can't be backed up with legitimate studies. Yeah not a fan. I could go on and on and on, but we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that today. Today I was sent this video, shout out to the person that sent it to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. It's very clear in my opinion that this person has no idea what they're talking about. No idea. And I think that that's really alarming. I think, I think that's scary, especially if we're talking about mental health people's health in general. I think that's really scary. So uh, let's get this show on the road. I do want to give some content warnings. She does mention um, trying to conceive. She does mention weight loss. She does mention the scale. She does mention things of that nature. So please be aware of that before we get into this video. And if this is something that you're not prepared to hear or see, that's totally cool. Skip this video. I get it. I also want to let y'all know that the sound does not match up to the video. I'm not really sure why, but we're just going to go with it. So I apologize for that, but I feel like this is important for us to talk about. So let's watch this together. Hey guys, I thought I would get on and actually chat with you today um, while I mix up my happy juice. It's been a minute since I've had the mango, so I'm going to mix up the mango. All right, right off the bat, the before and after pictures at the top, that is implying that the products that she is taking, that she is trying to pitch in her stories, are what got her the results. We will learn very shortly that that's actually not the case. And this is the epitome of deceptive marketing, in my opinion. It's not always the most comfortable thing to post pictures like that, just based on my experience. And it's the very reason, one of the many reasons, why I post my before and after pictures with a content warning in front of it on Instagram. One, I want people to know how to do this. And when I say this, I mean weight loss. I mean strength gains, flexibility, mobility. Whatever your goals are in the gym, I want people to know that you can do it without depending on a multi-level marketing company's product that makes claims that can't be backed up with actual science. That is the reason that I post that, but I will always put a content warning in front of that just because I know not everybody is in a place that wants to see that, and I get that. So this is alluding to her weight loss and changes that she's noticing in her body that she says she's noticing in her body coming from an MLM product. And I just think it's really deceptive and yeah, not a fan. Uh, today officially marks four weeks since I started drinking the happy juice um, and I did some side-by-side -side pictures and maybe I'll put them uh, somewhere on this slide, but you guys, okay. The scale, <clears throat> the scale hasn't really moved um, much. It's moved, but not much. Throw the scale away. In my opinion, if the scale is a problem, if you are somebody that, you know, you're going to weigh yourself every day and it's going to create an unhealthy relationship with your body or an unhealthy view of your body, throw the scale away. There are so many other ways if you are on a weight loss journey, there's so many other ways to determine if you're moving in the right direction how your clothes fit, how you're sleeping, how you're performing in the gym or whatever you do to work out. Are things getting easier to do? It could be something as simple. Can you, something as simple as, can you get up and down off the floor easier than before? Very simple things like that. How your clothes are fitting? What's your energy like? What are your moods like? Are you noticing any difference in that? There's so many ways that you can tell the benefits of moving your body and it doesn't always have to be the scale. And quite frankly, it doesn't always have to be a before and after picture. Which as we all know can be it can mess with you mentally. Throw it away. Um, but the pictures don't lie. 
and I'm very pleased with what I see in the pictures and also with what I feel um, physically and mentally. I have not watched this fully. I've watched maybe a third of it. These are all from her stories, but what I think is going to be happening here, my prediction, if you will, is she's going to tell us, or she is basically alluding to the happy juice helping her with weight loss. And what I suspect might happen is she's going to tell us that she maybe has changed the way that she's eating or that she's more active than she was. Now, if you're more active than you were, that is going to require more energy, which means you're going to burn more calories. If you're burning more calories and you've adjusted the way that you're eating, maybe you're eating in a slight calorie deficit, and then you're burning more energy in the form of calories, you're creating a deficit, depending on where, like your maintenance calories, that kind of thing. But if you're used to taking in a lot of calories, just as an example, to keep it simple, and then you're moving your body more, burning burning more calories, requiring more energy, creating a deficit, and then you're adjusting how you're eating because you're taking something that maybe has appetite suppressant in it, you're also taking in fewer calories while burning more calories, you're creating a deficit, which for many people can create weight loss for a lot of people, for most people unless you have some underlying health issues, things of that nature. So that's what I think is gonna happen. I think that's what she's gonna say. I think that's why she has the before and after pictures here. And I think that that's the audience that she's trying to capture. It's not from a product. If she has lost weight, it's because of the impact of moving her body more, in my opinion, if she does say that later, and also reducing calories. So yes, I am seeing progress and I'm very happy with it. And I actually don't want to give all of the credit to the happy juice and the supplements because a lot of it is me. Um, Thank you. Give yourself credit for what you are doing. If you're adjusting your calories, if you're moving your body in the best way that, your that you are able to, I was gonna say in the best way your body is able to, but in the best way that you're able to, you're gonna burn more calories and you're also impacting the amount of calories you're taking in. I'm glad that she's giving herself credit. Like skip the MLM products and just continue to do what you're doing without them. I started <clears throat> a little regimen to kind of kick my ass back in gear. I've had a set of tasks that I are like non-negotiable for me to complete every day. Uh, moving my body, drinking enough water. So you are working out, which is going to impact everything that I just mentioned. Also being hydrated, very important. <laughs> that kind of stuff. And I have been very, very consistent with that over the past. That actually just started about maybe like a week, week and a half ago. Um, okay. But I will say that I feel like the mental health benefits that I'm getting from the happy juice are definitely attributing to this mindset that I'm in of, you know, wanting to get the stuff done. Mm. My question is, does that Amari, ju Amari happy juice have caffeine in it? Because caffeine is one heck of a motivator, you know, have a cup of coffee, get some stuff done. Yeah, that's my question. Like, I can't tell you how many times recently I have like sat down and made a list of tasks and kind of like a kind of like a 75 hard type deal, but more like a 75 soft something that I hate. I hate 75 hard. This is coming from somebody that was in a multi-level marketing company for many years. And 75 hard is a thing that these people do all the time. 75 hard, I think, is extremely problematic. I think that it creates this extreme look at moving your body, exercising, working out, however you want to word that. And I think it creates an all or nothing mindset with working out. And I absolutely hate that. I think move your body in the best way that you can and the best way that you're able to. You don't need this extreme thing. And typically 75 hard, you pick a, a, a diet, a way of eating. You have to read 10 pages of an actual book. You can't listen to 10 minutes of an audiobook. You have to drink a gallon of water, two workouts a day, 
for 45 minutes. One has to be outside. I think you have to take daily progress pictures. I just don't think that that's healthy. I think it's an extreme way of looking at health and wellness and fitness and moving your body. And what happens after the 75 days? Also, what happens to somebody and how they feel about themselves if they can't maintain this extreme thing? Well, they're gonna go the opposite direction. I feel like 75 hard is very similar to somebody that is eating a very restrictive diet and then they have something that they've been restricting themselves from. And they're like, well, I already had one. I might as well have another one. I might as well have another one. And it keeps going and going and going. And in my opinion, it turns into some sort of a, a binge, if you will. I feel like 75 hard has that same kind of end result, not even end result. Somebody that's doing it that doesn't get all the way through the 75 days, I feel like they are going to or have the potential, in my opinion, to go the other direction instead of finding ways that they can get more steps in or work on flexibility or mobility or any of those different things in, in ways that bring them joy. It doesn't have to be this extreme thing. What do you like to do? Do more of that. I hate 75 hard. I think it's atrocious. I also am not a fan, since we're here and talking about it, I am not a fan of Andy Frisella and I am not a fan of his supplement company and how his affiliate whatever program looks a whole lot like a multi-level marketing company just in my opinion so in case you were wondering how i felt about that there you go it's my lifestyle and where i am in my journey um so it's very similar to that uh trying to move my body every single day um, even if it's just a walk uh, get movement in every I feel like walking is the most underrated way of moving your body if you are able to. I think that it is one of the, I don't want to say simplest because it's not always simple for people to walk. You can increase the incline, you can increase the speed if you're walking on a treadmill, you can walk around the neighborhood. I just think that walking is such a great cardiovascular exercise and just exercise in general and a lot of people overlook it. You know, so I think that's cool that she's doing that. I think that's awesome. Every single day I have a water goal. I have a step goal. Um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to rein in my sleep because my sleep is awful. Very good. Um, trying to prioritize protein. So I'm doing a low carb, moderate to high protein is my diet that I um, have not deviated from and uh, things like that. And I've been doing those every single day, but I can't tell you how many times I sat down and I was like, okay, I know what I need to do. Let's do it, let's do it. And I just just couldn't mentally get that oomph to, to do it. And one of the components of happy juice is actually in the edge, which is for mood, motivation, and metabolism. Now, I don't believe in motivation. I think motivation's bullshit. It comes and it goes. You kind of agree with her on the motivation thing. You're not always gonna wake up and say, you know what, today's a great day to go work out. Some days you're gonna be dragging. Some days you're gonna procrastinate. Some days you're gonna say, you know, I'm gonna listen to my body and take a rest day. That's okay. I think listening to your body is so important. Can't rely on it. Um, however, since drinking the happy juice, I have definitely noticed a difference in my mental health and oh. I am feeling that oomph to get up and do all the things that I need to do that are gonna help me reach my goals. Um, and this is the first time in two years. <laughs> okay, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second. First of all, I think it's really dangerous to say that an MLM product that has not had adequate studies on the specific MLM product, not ingredients listed in the product, I think that saying that that can impact your mental health is extremely dangerous. I think it's a health claim. And I think the FTC would be like, we don't like that. I think that that is really problematic, extremely problematic and dangerous, just like I said. The two year thing, I was told, that this person was in prove it previously and you know all of the better things that they say that i used to say what do you mean it's been two years since you've felt like yourself didn't you say two years ago when you were in prove it you know that you felt better your sleep was amazing better mood better energy better focus fat loss because i know we all did what happened there it's been two years you guys it's been a full two years since I have really felt like myself and since I have really put my health on, you know, as a priority. Um, and this is the- Am I going to be pausing a lot? Yeah. I love that she's prioritizing her health. I think that that is amazing. 
kudos to her not that she needs it from me but the fact that she's pairing this with a multi-level marketing company's product in a multi-level marketing company's product where the the model is designed for only the people at the top to actually earn income i just i hate that so much i feel like she's selling herself short here she's making these moves she's doing the things to prioritize her health and that is incredible but she's giving, in a sense, the MLM company and their product the kudos for that. And it's like, no, girl, you're doing the work. You're the one doing the work. I feel conflicted with this video, I guess is how I want to say that. The first time that I have sincerely felt really good mentally, um, feeling like I'm getting routine down and feeling more like the person that I want to be and it's been amazing. You do not need to join a multi-level marketing company to become the person that you want to be. You're good enough as you are. That goes for everybody that is watching or listening to this. You're good enough as you are. You don't need a multi-level marketing company to personally develop to become a better person. You can learn in the areas that you want to about yourself for free in many different ways, audiobooks, you could buy regular books, you could watch YouTube videos, you could go to therapy. There's so many different ways that you can do it. They're not all for free. And I know not everybody has access to therapy, but joining a multi-level marketing company to become the best version of yourself, I feel like is not it, you know? Anyway, that was random. My whole point is I definitely feel like the happy juice has helped me in a lot of ways. I was very skeptical of it. I watched people drink it for a really long time and kind of just assumed that it was just another fad thing. Um, until finally I just saw one of my good friends have such great success on it that I was like, well, you know, what's the harm in trying it? Because something's got to give because I- Now, I wonder what success she's referring to. I feel like that's such a broad statement and success is going to look different to everybody. Everybody's goals are going to be different when it comes to their health and wellness. Some people want to lose weight. Some people want to gain weight. Some people want to put on muscle. Some people want to do, you know, a combination of two of those things. Some people just want to, you know, manage chronic pain. Some people are trying to pre prevent cardiovascular disease or get their blood pressure down or manage their blood sugar. There's so many just different aspects of of health that I just wonder what success means. Because what I learned from my experience in multi-level marketing and specifically health and wellness multi-level marketing companies is the focus is just on weight. How much weight have you lost? Think about any of the content that you've come across lately from people that, you know, you know that maybe are in MLMs, especially like health and wellness MLMs. A lot of them do before and after pictures. A lot of them are like, I'm down 60 pounds or whatever. And it's because that is, in my opinion, the measure of success. And the reason that I feel like they measure that or they use that is because that's a pain point for a lot of people. I feel like so many people struggle with how to move their body, whether it's uh, because of chronic pain or other things that are preventing, their, preventing them from moving or preventing them from being as mobile as they want, or they don't know what to do, or they don't know how to do it or they don't know how to build a complete plate or what they should be eating and things of that nature. And I feel like that very thing that these MLMers use and these MLM companies use is really to target and hone in on that one pain point. And I just think that that's really gross. I've been struggling for two years um, and it has just really, really, really felt like I've just lost myself. So I was like, I'll, you know, yeah, let, why not? What do I have to lose? Um, and so I'm very pleased. I really am. It's been four weeks. It is not a fast process. It is not a quick fix. Um, I haven't dropped a ton of weight um, or anything like that, but I have definitely lost inches and I'm feeling overall better. And I definitely feel like my digestive system, digestive system is working a lot better. Um, and that is with the happy juice. No, no. The loss of inches are probably because you have changed your caloric intake in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if the products that she is talking about have any kind of appetite suppressant, but if they do, chances are she's probably not taking in as many calories as she was prior to that. She also has said that she is working wor working out. She's going on walks and things of that nature, so she's burning more calories than she was before. Did y'all know it takes like 3,500 calories in order to lose one pound? Did y'all know that? 
I know a lot of people probably did, but that's why you, if you are looking to lose weight, in my opinion, of course, please work with professionals, a registered dietitian, certified personal trainer, which I will be soon. Um, please make sure you work with professionals, but that's why it's really, really effective in most cases to burn a certain amount of calories in a workout that you are able to do that you enjoy doing and also adjusting your caloric intake just slowly over time you don't have to do a complete overhaul i hope he doesn't mind me saying this but i've been talking to my husband about it and uh, just the things that i'm learning and kind of pulling from my own experience pulling from my textbook and it's been pretty cool but 3500 calories to lose one pound okay you guys notice that thing it's like it happening it's happening on facetime but i guess it's like happening on stories now or if you do a thumbs up it'll like it'll put a thumbs up i love it or fireworks or something like, oh because i did two of them if you just do one thumbs up it'll just like do a thumbs up and then you could do a thumbs down and then i think you could do the piece yeah piece is balloons double piece is something else i think confetti um i know you can do the rock symbol maybe you have to do double yeah i play with these on facetime like when i'm um on video chat with my mom on facebook messenger and i think it's only apple because we're superior <laughs> i said what i said but anyway i didn't know it was doing it on instagram stories now so that totally distracted me <laughs> in the last story yeah you're on your Apple phone. So though. specifically what I do every single day is I do the happy juice, which consists of either two or three. If you get the mango pack, you're only mixing two things, which is the mentabiotics, which is gut health, um, and then the edge, which I just said is mood, motivation, and metabolism. Uh, this is like a new formula. So they basically combined the energy because um, normally you would mix up three. So basically they put these two just in this one. So if you get the mango pack, you only have to mix these two. And this one actually has lion's mane in it as well, which has a lot of really great benefits. And I bet it has a ton of vitamin B6 and B12. And I bet the energy has some caffeine in it. I'm just going to say this. If you think that you are deficient in vitamins, please have some blood work done. Have some blood work done because there are vitamins that you can throw out of whack and have too much and you don't need it and it can have really intense side effects, if you will. So before you start taking anything that you see on the internet, please have blood work done. I think the latest thing is being magnesium deficient, but not everybody is magnesium deficient so just from friend to friend if you will <laughs> just make sure you have blood work done before you start introducing a bunch of supplements because i feel like that's where we're going with this um, but if you do the normal then you'll do edge um, the mentabiotics and then you'll do the energy self-explanatory energy um and you'll mix these three up and that is your happy juice um, and then I personally take digestive because I've got digestive issues. And go to your doctor. Go to your doctor if you are having digestive issues. Please see a professional. Not everybody needs digestive enzymes. And there are so many things that could be going on with your digestive system. Just blanket statement or I don't even want to say blanket statement. Just taking a random digestive enzyme not everybody needs that i take a gbx fit which is more of a weight loss aid so that's the thing a weight loss aid hold on i need to see what this is okay first of all a bottle of that gbx fit that she just mentioned is i'm assuming she's on a subscribe and save but let me give both prices it's 77.95 for uh, a bottle I'm not sure how many servings yet. I'll get there. For a one-time purchase, if you're on a subscribe and save, you save 10%, so it's $69.95 before shipping and tax. Why you need it improves gut health. So she's taking digestive enzymes and she's taking something else that says that it improves gut health, which are there situations where gut health needs to be improved? Absolutely. But I also feel like there are so many health and wellness companies in general, not just multi-level marketing companies that are capitalizing on gut health being a marketing term for their product. And their product isn't backed up by science or studies or anything. And I absolutely hate that. Again, please see your doctor if you feel like there's things going on in your gut. Go see a professional.
not don't take an MLM product that typically has a proprietary blend and you don't even know what you're taking. Reduces bloating and supports a healthy inflammation response. This is wild. Regulates appetite and cravings. Ah, appetite suppressant, which is going to make you feel like you're not as hungry which means you're not taking in as many calories. And they're saying what is helping people control their appetite and have less cravings is a prebiotic. Probiotics, prebiotic, prebiotics, it's not my level of exper expertise. So I'm going to ask Eloise, our resident pharmacist, is that a thing? Can prebiotics, if you see this, if prebiotics or can prebiotics control appetite and prevent cravings? I'm just curious. And if you guys know, let me know in the comments. The thing that I love about Amari too is it's not a one size fits all. We have a wide range of products. So if you're struggling with hormone balance, we've got a pack for that. Uh, no, 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 no. Do not mess with your hormones. Only go to a professional. I'm going to say that a whole lot in this video. Do not play with your hormones. Mm -mm. The happy juice is more of a gut health regimen uh we have regimens to help with weight loss with mental health like it's just it's a wide variety of things um so happy juice might not even be what you need like depending on what you're struggling with you might not even need happy juice at all like you might just need a different thing so i really like that because i feel like a lot of companies out there are kind of just one size fits all um mix this up and it's going to change your life and this type of thing and it's just i think she's talking about prove it there what do y'all think it's, it's that's not how that works um and th that's not even how this works um like i said i've already been doing it for four weeks and a lot of the women that have seen really great results did not see results for months because this is going inside and fixing things from the inside out i don't think that's how that works what kind of results are we talking about more energy getting more steps in you know making better food choices eating more eating less i don't what are we talking about i don't understand what results these people are getting i just have so many questions also too they're not going to see results for months well then are the results coming from changes in their movement or changing changes in their caloric intake or is it from the products if you see this i don't know who you are but if you see this i want to challenge you to make the changes aside from the 75 hard stuff make the changes to your caloric intake and continue to move your body and, and have a cup of coffee or something if you're a coffee drinker or tea or something caffeinated before you walk or before you start your day and see how you feel in a couple of months. Just test it. I don't think your results are from the product. I think your results are from changing how you're eating or you know manipulating your caloric intake and from introducing exercise. That's my theory. So I challenge you, try it. Um, so they actually had a promotion in March where it was absolutely free to sign up as a brand partner. So I went ahead and just did that because I figured I'm going to be sharing my updates with you guys anyway, as I do with everything else. If I find this is where the video does not match the sound. I apologize. I'm not really sure why it's like that. Something I like, I share it here. That's just what I've done the whole time that I've been on this platform um, through my whole journey. So I may as well sign up as a brand partner. That way I at least have some sort of way to save you guys some money if you do decide that you want to try it. So why not just say, I'm hoping to make money from this? Why do they have to make it like, oh, well, I'm hoping that I can save you guys some money. That's why I signed up as a distributor in this MLM company. No, you're, you're attempting to make money. I don't understand why that is not okay to talk about. They always make it like, oh, I'm, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to serve you. You're trying to make money. And the unfortunate part is that's probably not going to happen. It's not going to be any different than prove it. I can tell you that much. Um, if you do, let me know. We can talk about what your issues are and I can figure out what would be best for you and save you some money in the meantime. You're not qualified to do any kind of intake or... Uh, tell me what ailments you have and I'll match you up to a product that you're not qualified to do that That's the dangerous part of this for my supplements. I get so many questions on how many things that I take um, oh Not God. so many more like maybe two or three every time I post a hyperlapse That's because fair. you just see me grabbing like a bunch of bottles. It's mostly vitamins I take I knew this was the direction we were going again, please go and see your doctor your medical professional, have some blood work done, see if you're deficient in any vitamins, if at all, 
before you start taking a bunch of things. Talk to your doctor, hey, I'm considering taking this. What do you think about that? And get a medical professional's opinion paired with your blood work that shows if you are or are not deficient in anything. Vitamin C, um, I'm actually gonna be adding another vitamin in here. Okay, so I got the vitamin C. I'm gonna take a prenatal. If you're new here, my husband and I have been trying to have a baby for a very long time. So I don't take like a regular multivitamin. I've been taking prenatals for a I really hope that her and her husband are able to get pregnant. I just would like to say that. And for those of you that are also trying, that are struggling with fertility, I'm sending you, what do they say? I'm sending you all of the sticky vibes. I know that sounds kind of odd, but you know what I mean, right? A very long time. Um, the GBX fit, like I said, for, um, it aids in weight loss and it's actually a quad biotic. So it helps with diet, uh, with gut health as well. A quad biotic. So it has a probiotic, a prebiotic, a phytobiotic, and a postbiotic. So the probiotic, they say, supports healthy inflammation response. We talked about that a few minutes ago. And in parentheses, they have de-bloat. Then they have prebiotic, which is the appetite. And in parentheses, it just says appetite. And then in parentheses, it says less cravings. And then phytobiotic, which is, according to them, stress resilience in parentheses, better sleep, and then postbiotic, belly fat, and in parentheses, lose inches. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you cannot target fat for fat loss in specific areas of your body. Your body is going to get rid of the body fat if that's what you are trying to accomplish in the way that it wants to do that. You can't control that. You can't spot treat when it comes to belly fat or any other fat on your body. Your body gets rid of it the way that it wants to get rid of it. That's crazy. So that's what they're calling a quad, or that's what she's calling a, a quad biotic. Yikes. <clears throat> I'll take one of those and then this is vitamin D3. And I will take one of those. They're teeny tiny, so usually like three of them come out. I'm trying to go through fast. Vitamin E. Y'all, it's just not my day. All of them are wanting to come out. And then I'll take two of my digestive. Some people take this right before bed. I take it at the beginning of the day to help digest throughout the day. And then I will take magnesium. I usually make sure that I take calcium, magnesium, and zinc for my immune system. Um, but I run out of zinc, so it's just calcium and magnesium for right now. I have to pick up more zinc later today. Um, and then in addition to all that, I will be adding in CoQ10, um, for my own reasons. You don't gotta worry about it. What? How come you're talking about all the other supplements, but then you don't want to talk about CoQ10? I don't, I don't understand that. That's interesting. That seems out of place. That seems odd. Uh, it's like a heart health vitamin. So yeah, they're... I wonder if she's gone to the doctor and was diagnosed with high cholesterol or something and she's trying to, to bring that down, which would explain the walking, which would explain, yeah. Which, if that's the case, awesome. But I'm hoping that this that she went to the doctor and had blood work done. But pairing that with an MLM product pitch, mm. They're vitamins. <laughs> I'm not a crazy psycho pill popper, I swear. Maybe don't say that. Maybe, maybe don't say that. Ah, all right. And so that's my morning routine or my daily routine, whatever. Uh, you don't have to drink happy juice first thing in the day or first thing in the morning. I usually do, but sometimes I just have a busy day and I don't mix it up till later. It really doesn't depend or doesn't matter what time of day you drink it. So yeah, that's um, pretty much it as far as happy juice and vitamins and supplements are concerned. Also not qualified to be suggesting vitamins and supplements for people. Um, today's another busy day. Paging gets out of school early. So I got to make sure I get a workout in before I go pick her up. And then after I pick her up, we're probably going to go for a walk because the weather is so nice today. It's in the... So she's working out and then later going for a walk. She's burning more calories than she was previously, it sounds like. 70s. It's so nice. And tomorrow it's going to be doomy and gloomy and gross again. So I want to go for a walk while we can. Um, <clears throat> and then I work Amazon. I have another Amazon shift later on today. So...
going to be busy. <clears throat> Nick goes back to work tomorrow and he's actually going to be staying out of town, which sucks, but you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Plans for the day. Happy hump day. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh man, I just feel like she could do so much better than a multi-level marketing company with sharing her health and wellness journey and different things like that. Of course, you know, not suggesting supplements and, and things of that nature, but I just, uh, why? If you're crediting yourself for moving your body more and how you're eating and how you're feeling, try it without the MLM products. Try it, see what you think, because they're probably not that incredible. I know I had a lot to say, I paused it a lot, I apologize, I try not to do that, but sometimes I just have a lot to say and I hope this person gets out of multi-level marketing because these contradictions and and just just all of this that we just watched was painful and I think she can do way better. Anyways, thank you for being here. If you love today's video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you would. It helps me to get the video out to more people so that they don't fall for these types of pyramid schemes in my opinion. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.